Hi, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how to personalize a cook outfit using ghost white toner and a laser dark A foil and B paper. Ghost white toner is a perfect and versatile solution for any kind of personalization onto garment, workwear, wood, leather and cotton and in today's tutorial you're gonna learn how I'm going to personalize um, uh, this oven glove, um, a cook hat and um, a cook jacket um, using ghost white toner. Um, ghost white toner is very easy to use um, and uh, in this video we're going to print a straight white design. With ghost white toner um, everything black on the screen is printed in white. Um, so I make sure that I have my white toner cartridge installed in my printer inside the spot where I usually would have the black toner. Once the toner is inside the printer, I can print my design. So as you can see on the screen, uh, I have a family restaurant design ready um, and everything is black. So simple, it will all be printed in white. So I just choose my print settings. Um, this time it's um, just important to make sure that for the color setting um, you have set the printer driver to grayscale. Um, with Ghost White Toner you can use any software for printing your designs. I'm currently printing directly from InDesign, but you can also use Photoshop, CorelDRAW or any other graphic software, um, but also print straight from PDF files. Okay, then I hit the print button, making sure that I print my design in mirror image mode um, with the color setting to grayscale and with the paper setting using opaque film to not scratch the A-foil. I'm printing on the laser dark A-foil, which is a very sensitive coated foil, um, so make sure that you don't scratch it. When you insert the foil into the printer, make sure that the matte side of the media is facing up. So I'm taking my design out of the printer. As you can see, everything black on the screen has been printed in white. Now I'm going to open my heat press and I'm going to lay the A-foil on the bottom plate of the heat press with the printed side, so the mud side, facing up. And I'm going to cover it with the B-paper with the coated side facing down towards the print. Right, once this is covered, I'm going to cover it um, with a few sheets of A3 copy paper. This is to even out um, the pressure and the temperature distribution. Now I'm going to close the heat press and press this for two minutes um, before I'm going to separate those two papers again. During this pressing, the glue from the B paper attaches to the printed areas on the A foil. Um, for all of you who are familiar with vinyl cut, this means that you will only transfer the parts of your design where there was toner, where there was print. That means there is no cutting or weeding of your design to get it straight onto your t-shirt or onto your, um, uh, in, this in this case, workwear cook outfit. Um, with Ghost White Toner you can personalize a broad variety of materials. You can print onto leather like the back down there, onto cotton, polyester, felt, even onto wood using all the same process I'm showing here right now. The washability of the final products um, is very good. You can wash a cotton t-shirt between 35 up to 45 washes. If you make sure that every wash is a cold wash and you wash it inside out and hang it to dry. Using a different type of media um, called Multitrans, you can also personalize all kinds of hard surfaces like mugs, bottles, glassware, stoneware um, and small gift items like this. Um, using uh, a different paper. Um, for checking out videos on how to do the hard surface personalization, just visit our YouTube channel. We will put up some videos there um, how this process is done. After time is up on the heat press, I'm going to smoothly and constantly peel the A-foil and the B-paper. During this peeling process, it is really important that the lower plate is hot and that both papers stay on the lower plate till the peeling is finished. Otherwise, um, uh, we would probably take off the print from the A-foil and we don't want that. So there only has to be a small temperature differences between pressing and peeling. Right, time's up. I'm opening the heat press. 
taking away my copy paper. I'm giving it a quick wipe with a cloth just to make sure that the heat comes off the paper evenly. I'm putting my thumb down here and I'm going to peel smooth and constantly down the design. Make sure that when you peel um, you don't speed up or slow down, just to the end slow down a little bit so that you don't take off parts of your design um, from the foil. Right? Cool, perfect. As you can see, um, the glue from the B paper has completely taken off and it's now attached to the A foil. You can also feel this if you rub your finger over it, it has a sticky feeling. It happens sometimes that some excess glue sticks to the edges of the A foil. Therefore, I'm quickly going to trim the edge of the A foil so that I don't have some excess of the A foil on my design. As I'm going to personalize more than one item at once, I have all four designs that I'm going to use on the A-foil and I'm going to quickly cut these out. Um, just one thing to mention, once you have done the A and B transfer like I've just done now, you can store these things for months. So um, depending on what kinds of jobs you're doing, you can pre-produce designs and store them and just apply them when the job comes along. All right. I'm going to start with the um, cook shirt. Um, I place the shirt on the heat press. Um, I only want to print um, on the uh, top breast pocket of that um, outfit. So I'm taking the design I want to use therefore, I'm placing it um, on the on the garment. It's really easy to place your design with ghost white toner as you um, can see the design as the A-foil is a transparent media. Then you take some silicone paper for the protection of your heat press and of the rest of the garment and you close your heat press and you press this now for 30 seconds. It is a mixed polyester um, uh, garment. Um, usually polyester would be heat pressed between 20 and 25 seconds, but as this is a detailed area, I want to give it a little bit more time. In the meantime, I can figure out um, where I want to put my other designs. Maybe like this. Okay, that's cool. So time's up almost. I'm going to open the heat press, remove the silicon paper, and I'm going to leave this on the side to cool down before I peel it. In the meantime, I can take the time and do another design. Um, this is a cook hat, and for the cook hat, um, I want to show you how to use a different kind of heat press. Um, I have this small heat press here, which has a smaller lower plate. This allows me to just put the part of the garment onto the heat press, which I want the design to be on. Um, this is much easier, because if you would personalize such a small item on a big heat press like this, um, uh, it's sometimes hard to really hit the right spot. This is also cool for printing uh, onto sleeves or onto detailed parts of a shirt, um, like here or here on the sleeves or wherever. Okay, the process is pretty much the same. I just place my design, make sure that it's aligned well, I cover it with a silicon paper and I give it a quick pressing of 30 seconds. Um, this is 100% cotton, so 30 seconds should be really sufficient. All right, I can already go ahead and um, start thinking about where to put um, this cook hat onto my oven glove. I think on the top front here would be really nice. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm going to put the oven glove onto the heat press, wait a little. This one's done. Open the heat press, take off this, and leave it to side for cooling. Same as the other one. Okay. I place the oven glove on the surface of the heat press, place the design, cover it with silicon paper, and also heat press it for 15 seconds. This can be easily done on a big press as the glove is really soft and it is squished together by the press. 
I'm doing 15 seconds here just to make sure that it's not too long so that it doesn't melt into the design. All right. Open the heat press, take the silicon paper off, take the glove and leave it to cool. By now, the first of our designs should be completely cold. I'm using an even and flat workspace for the peeling of my designs. I'm laying the design flat out and I start by folding the edge of the A-foil and smoothly and constantly rolling over my design. Using medium pressure with my hand and constantly smoothly peeling over the design. All right, perfect. As you can see, we got a seamless transfer and the complete design is now attached to the fabric. Um, it is still a little bit shiny, but that will be fixed with a quick finish press. But before we do that, we're gonna finish up the other designs. There's the head, same procedure. Just start folding the edge and constantly rolling over the design, peeling it really, really smoothly. Even really fine lines, like from the fork up here, transfer easy and safely to your final product. Okay, the oven glove should be cold enough by now as well. Um, same procedure, you just fold over the edge and constantly and smoothly peel over the design to get a transfer. All items are still shiny, so we're going to take them back to the heat press for a finish pressing. Especially when it comes to items that are washed very often, this finish press is hugely important. We're using a silicon paper um, with a silicon coating for the finish pressing. Um, you can use a shiny coated or a matte coated paper. In this case, this is a matte coated paper. We're covering the design and we're going to give it a five to 15 second seat press. Depending on the final product, whether it is cotton, felt, leather, or any other material, you will have to experiment which is the best finished pressing. But this step is crucially important for the washability of the product. So for every item that you want to wash multiple times, better not forget to finish press. This was 15 seconds, should be absolutely fine for this polyester item. And as you can see now, if I take off um, the matte finish uh, silicon paper, you will see we're getting a really nice matte finish. The design is not shiny any longer. We're having a really nice constant design. As you can also see, it stretches nicely and it's really into the garment. It's no longer on the surface of the garment. Right. We're going to finish up the other two products the same way. We're starting um, with the hat by placing it on a small heat press plate, covering it with silicon paper, and giving us an, another 10, five to 10 seconds um, to melt the design into the garment. This should be good. Take the paper off, and we have the finished product here, right? And last but not least, our oven glove. Um, when this is finished, actually it's no problem to touch hard things with it as it is an oven glove. You can use this, um, it's a perfect gift maybe for your grandma if you want to persuade to bake more cake for you guys. Um, finish pressing here, also five to 15 seconds. Um, as you can see, the whole material and the whole process is very variable, but um, if you find your perfect process for the jobs you're doing constantly, um, uh, the good thing is, um, the process is constant and not changing and you will get perfect results time after time after time. Right, taking off the silicon paper, taking the oven glove, seeing that you have a really smooth and nice design, it's warm in there, taking it off. Um, so thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos that you would like to see on our channel, please put that down into the comments. Also check the description of the video. Um, I've put down a list of all the steps I have been doing and the media I have been using. Um, please follow our channel for more, more videos. If you like today's video, leave a 